Hello and welcome back, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more E4, Ragusa, with a little bit of help. So... I... spent a lot of time hemming and hawing with chat, and uh... I have made my decision, my, my executive decision. Which is going to be that we are... going to... peace out... soon. To spy on you. I want... I want money. I want to upgrade our centers of trade, um... I want to avoid fighting his army. If we can actually take another fort, I'd, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more war score, that'd be cool. Ah, crap, I just gave up control of the fort because I wasn't paying attention. Or the, the gold mine, rather. Dumb. That's what happens when you pause for a long time. And then come back. Faceting! Gems will now be produced in Constantinople. Why delete the Belgrade fort over the Smederevo fort? Because the Belgrade fort is on a center of trade and if the fort is there then if someone were to come try to siege it they're going to siege down a more valuable province if the fort is on the crappy province then they'll ignore belgrade and go for the crappy province leaving the good province un like unharmed Like, if I had to choose where I'd place these forts, I would go here. I would go in Kirakifoldi, Thames, Medarevo, Travunia, Bosnia. In that spacing. I would not go with a coastal fort in this case. I like the defensive mountains more. Okay, so we need to knock down that fort. I think he's actually considering coming to fight us, maybe, possibly. Look at this guy with his actually lot of troops. What's up with that? 26,000 infantry? Damn. Dude's actually trying. It'd be great if Poland would actually knock down a fort or two. I think we peace out, like, really, really now. I don't, I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight him in even a single battle. Oh! Maybe that... maybe not. That changes things. We just got a wall breach. That means this fort might actually fall kind of quickly. He's negative two reasons from giving us our claims. I want money, but if he's willing to peace out, and there's like... a chance that a battle's gonna happen, I'll, I'll just peace out without the money. Alright, that's a defensive terrain province though, so I don't think they're gonna let me take this fort. The more I think about it. Our ticking war score is at four. How easy would it be to knock out Mantua? Not easy at all. What is Poland doing? I have no idea. Poland is at war with no one but Hungary. And yet they keep on like not doing this siege. They do have a tech penalty against Hungary. Maybe they're just really afraid of the army. Or maybe Lithuania is disloyal or something. No, they're loyal. Hungary is occupied Bessarabia. I'm very confused by Poland's performance so far. Okay, we saw most of the Hungarian army up north. I, I don't think that they're here. There's a large Wallachian Separatist Rebellion right now. This fight's not going to go great, but we will win, I think. Hmm. Like I said, I don't actually want to do any battles. I want this war to be easy. Maybe if we win this fight, the extra siege tick that we get for winning a fight while having an active siege going. Got an extra three siege status out of that. Maybe this will allow us to finish the siege quickly and it's going to be worthwhile. That also gave us a little bit of war score from battles. I mean, there's so much potential money here. 700 ducats nearly. If we can uh, actually win. 
I think we let the Ticking Wars go do just a little bit more work. Army Reformer has already died. Nice. Well, we don't actually need him right now. Okay. Our projection just slipped. Or has slipped for a while. Insult. Scornful. I don't have Embargoes active. I don't know why. I don't. Being lazy. Taking that money will most likely bankrupt Hungary. Yes, true. It's kind of an argument to, to keep it keep going. Poland, man, is just like <laughs> I don't know how he's being so bad in this offensive war, but he is not doing a good job. All right, uh, let's do a quick check on how much it's actually going to cost to core. 193 is what it says it's going to cost. I'm not going to have to pay for Slavonia, so 193 minus 27, 170. I think I can take an idea right now. It's always nice when, like, Hungary's best ally in the, you know, most games is just drilling adjacent to him while he's getting destroyed. Water shortage, good status. This, this siege has gone very well. 194 days with 10 status already is pretty great. How much money does Hungary have in their treasury? I don't know. They have 117 ducats. And they have currently 7 loans. Not enough to make them go bankrupt like right this second, but it will definitely contribute to their toward their bankruptcy. Thames has fallen. All right, so with Thames war score, actually, we can piece out for the four provinces we have claims on, plus war reps, not quite, but almost. Let's give it a few more months. I should be having this guy pay for the support, by the way. Highlight my message with your 600. Wallachia Freedom Hype? Yeah, it looks like Wallachia might break free anyway. I, I don't want to release Wallachia before those Rebels Enforced Demands. Like I said, keeping two subjects under control is going to be doable pretty easily. Three would be extremely hard, four would be near impossible. Um, if we had... If we release Wallachia and then have the Rebels return territory to him, he will be completely unmanageable. The amount of Liberty Desire he would gain from having provinces defect to him is just massive. This highlight stuff is cool. Yeah, you get uh, channel points over time just for watching, and then you can use it to highlight your message. That doesn't necessarily guarantee I'm going to see it, but it's far more likely. <laughs> okay, 6.8 ticking war score. I feel like I'm, I'm wasting this diplomat by not using him, but... Um, new morale of armies guys available, cool. At least we can get occupied and besieged provinces on Zemplin. I mean, he's already at nine war exhaustion. It's, it's quite remarkable how large his army is, considering how weak he is. Economically. Embargoes? Embargoes are now active. Um, but we're, like, right at the threshold with our power projection at the moment. We're privateering everyone that we can. Scornful insult. Regular insult. If our rivals were at war with anyone, we could, we could subsidize them. So Venice... Ferrara, Florence. No. Yes. Yes. So both of our rivals are... Two of our rivals are at war. Ferrara's at war with the Pope. And a bunch of people. We could just send them 0.1 ducats for a tiny bit of power projection. That's such a convenient trick, by the way. All you have to do is subsidize 0.1 ducats. Doesn't show up right away, but we'll get one power projection a month for that. Anyone that Farrar is at war with, Lucca, Utrecht. I 
It doesn't have to be a huge amount of money, but look. Free power projection. Bam. This message is not highlighted. This is true. I noticed. Okay. Alright, that's 51 war score. One more month will be at at least 52. How much more enthusiasm can he lose from occupied and besieged? Up to 26 more from that. Now my armies are definitely in danger of getting, um, like, rebel bombed right now. Just based on how much war exhaustion our opponent has. So I'm kind of concerned, and I want to get out of this war. As, as, as soon as we can peace out, the better. I want the truce to start. Okay, he's willing to give us four provinces plus war reps, and how much money? Currently 300 ducats. We can get up to 700 almost if we wait just a little bit longer. We're 50 reasons away, but it'll be a lot less than that to actually get him to agree. No Laika? Seriously? We're going to get Laika in the second war? We're going to release Croatia out of Slavonia and then use Reconquest to get that. It looks like someone's already occupying besieging Occupying and besieging Trent. So we're going to just occupy the gold mine again. Go for Spiss. This thing occupied. It appears that Rector Eduardo is a zealot. Missionary strength plus one. Cool. Neat. Fine. Good. We're losing money while we have to pay for the forts. Negative 34 reasons. Uh, it's going to be another month or two. So let's transfer these back to our subject. That fort is eventually going to fall to those rebels. What is the war score between Hungary and Poland? Uh, Poland is losing 19 war score. This Poland is smart. Papal State just did a thing. Lucka just got full annexed. Okay. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're piecing out like right now. You should probably skip the war reps because Hungary's going bankrupt. No, 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 no. Whenever a nation goes bankrupt, their loans get cleared, but then they have huge penalties and they typically end up taking out more loans. And when a nation that has war reps with you takes out loans, you get 10% of their loan value. So bankrupt nations are fantastic to have war reps from. You definitely want war reps. Always take war reps. If you have a choice between 10 war score spent on war reps, or 10 war score, or 10 war score in direct cash, always take war reps. Always better than 10 direct cash. Should be the very first thing you do. All right, we gotta trust this back so we can see where we actually stand. He is at negative 16 reasons now. I imagine after this fort falls, or this fort falls, you might be willing to agree. Eight of 10. Rise in does stuff with the Great Horde. Okay, it doesn't really affect us at all. Um, I don't want to keep transferring the forts back and forth. I think I'm just going to pay for it for a couple months. It's not a huge deal. Negative eight reasons. Okay, so I think we just need to get to like 61 or 62 war score and he'll do this deal. 
I can't get to these provinces because of that zone of control and that zone of control. We just have to wait a little bit longer. We could take institution spread. That doesn't help us. Whoa! Papal State loses one, two, three provinces to Florence. And they're forced to give monies away. The Pope is down to two provinces. And he's about to lose Romagne nah, to Ferrara. Pope's going down to one province, man. He's going to die. Why Thames? Because Thames is in an upstream node. It's in the Constantinople node. It is a defensive terrain fort. We need two forts to maintain our army tradition. And uh, I, I like that fort placement. I want to start trying to exert some trade power into Constantinople, so I want Thames. It'll be the first province we have in a node outside of our primary node. Alright, that's 60 war score. Is that enough? Negative 3. Yeah, so 61. Let's just wait till we're at 61 and then we'll be good. We'll hold off on this idea till we have our core started, because I know we're going to spend some. Right now I'm just kind of looting here. Might as well loot his capital, I guess. Actually, if we wanted to be really mean, we should go loot stuff that's not protected by his zone of control. Like, Sopron. And of course we want to be really mean. That's what we do. No, Poland still doesn't want to siege. They're stupid. They, I have control of the Zemplin siege. Despite the fact that Lithuania is doing all the work. Because they keep leaving. Because they're just stupid. Whoa, my mouse is going insane. Looks like the Poles maybe focused too much on getting... What is going on with the mouse? Oh my god! It's rebelling! <laughs> like a hair or something in the laser. Assault with Polish troops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and by Polish, you mean Lithuanian, right? <laughs> That's so evil. Alright, well, he's definitely willing to agree now. We have 69 more score. Nice. God, wow, my mouse. I need to, like, get some rubbing alcohol and clean this thing. Holy crap. Nice. Alright, so now's the time to peace out, because we have 69 more score. Nice. Um, he's definitely willing to agree now. I mean, maybe we do actually take one extra province, considering that we got that four. He's at negative two reasons for giving us Hunyad. I'm le okay, I'm leaning towards Transylvania over Wallachia, because here's the thing, like, if we take Wallachia, release Wallachia, the rebels might theoretically succeed, and then we have a disloyal subject. But if they succeed, we also would have no truce with Wallachia, and we could just attack Wallachia. It's one more person that we'd be adjacent to, so I think we take Hunyad. God, I can't control my mouse at all. Dukovic is the center of trade, though. True, but that doesn't really matter yet. All right, I'm going to push for that. How much longer till our ticking war score goes up? Two more months on the ticking war score. But he's willing to agree now. Okay. Beautiful! Why not taking tech? Because we're about to take some lands and we want to have admin points available for cores. Why not taking Diplotech? Because there's no ad advantage whatsoever to having it now. Um, like, we don't need these things and I'd rather just wait for the ticking boss to come down. And we'll probably spend our Diplo points on other stuff. Like, for example, I think we should probably accept Serbian culture at this point. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I think it's time to peace out, so... Alright, cool. I'm going to take a short break. I'll be back in the next episode. I transferred everything to us, right? I did. And the man. I'll see you soon. <laughs>